If you want to win some free PSN or Xbox gift cards, all you got to do is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Also, Call of Duty points are in Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3. If you want to get some free Call of Duty points, click that link down in the description, install the app, and start earning yourself some points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. In today's video, I thought I'd take some time and talk a little bit about Call of Duty World War II, or the next Call of Duty game because we had some info that was um, basically what happened is they did a reddit ask me anything sledgehammer games and some of the developers and they did leak some pretty cool info here and some stuff about supply drops about dlc about multiplayer that i wanted to talk about because it's getting to that time of year where i'm getting starting to get pretty pretty excited you know during the summer towards when the summer gets towards the end of it that's when it gets really to the, the peak of the hype for the next Call of Duty game and of course the beta we're going to have fairly soon for World War II. So I thought I'd take some time to talk about this and give some of my thoughts. If you guys could drop a like on this thing, 2,000 likes would be absolutely amazing. I would really appreciate that. Also of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are not already subscribed. We're over 664,000 subscribers so I appreciate all you guys, the new subscribers, the old ones, the OGs, all that sort of stuff. You guys are the best and let's get right into this. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is supply drops. So supply drops have been confirmed. The plan is for weapon variants or gear to be all cosmetic. No info about how DLC weapons will work. So I'll go more in depth into the statement that they gave. Basically, they said this is exactly word for word what they said. All weapon variants and gear variants in Call of Duty World War II supply drops are cosmetic only. So there are no stat based variants in play. We're also offering players collections and collection bounties giving a direct path for a community to earn items through all modes of multiplayer and headquarters play. But once again they gave no info about DLC. So this is sort of a clickbait here. As we know cosmetic only they've said before they said that in uh, Black Ops 3 and then of course it turned out they started doing DLC weapons and all that sort of stuff. They said cosmetic only for Modern Warfare Remastered. They started doing DLC weapons and all that sort of stuff also. So what this means is we're most likely going to get DLC weapons. It's not going to be cosmetic only. And I mean, DLC weapons aren't that bad because usually the DLC weapons are underpowered in comparison to normal weapons. But what this means, basically how I took it, is at the start of the game, there's the supply drops and what's in it is going to be cosmetic only. But in the future of the game, so after the release date, the DLC, they could pretty much do anything. So don't have your hopes up that they're not going to put DLC weapons or they're not going to have stat-based variants once the game's out. It's basically they want to make their money, you know. Uh, Sledgehammer Games, Activision will come in and tell them what to do to make money. And they don't really have a choice because Sledgehammer Games literally owns the company, or, or sorry, Activision owns the company Sledgehammer Games. So what we can learn from this is at the start of the game, there are going to be weapon variants and gear variants, but they're going to be cosmetic only. So what I took this as is maybe it's something similar to um, camos and kits from Modern Warfare Remastered. You know how kits make your guns look different at a camo, at a little bit of a different look, but it also doesn't affect the gun stats. I think that's what we're going to have at the start of this game with supply drops. And then we're also going to have different gear and different camos and stuff like that. So pretty simple stuff coming from that um, I think this is going to be good for the start and of course this is very minimal info because we have to wait until DLC time comes out for what they're actually going to do with that also what they said about collections and collection bounties giving a direct path for a community to earn items through all modes of multiplayer and headquarters play this basically just means contracts I'm guessing this is just like contracts you're going to be able to earn stuff or maybe not even contracts it could maybe just be challenges um, we don't really know because Call of Duty usually does similar things every single year but they've been known to change up the lingo you know they change contracts challenges um they, they basically change up the same things with different words like this year with the class setups are going to be called division setups or something like that so it's going to be interesting i'm probably going to title my videos just class setup and then at the end just put division setup or something like that because call of duty obviously since the beginning of multiplayer pretty much has been known for the class setup so i don't think i'm going to want to switch up the titles but that's something you know interesting we'll get into that a lot of the other things they covered here they talked a bit about rank 
ranked play and game battles. And what they said about that is um, uh, basically that they're very important components to their featured set. They said that, as you may have heard, we had a great week with some of the top competitors at Sledgehammer Games playing the game and giving us feedback. So people have already played this World War II, of course, and a lot of the, the pro players were there playing it, giving feedback, which is good because we want the game to succeed in a, in a pro level as well. I think they should have, to be honest, some YouTubers or some um, pub stoppers go and play the game and give some feedback too because if they're letting pro players do it, they should have people from the other side as well. You know, maybe someone like Pomage, a sniper, uh, a pub stomper, a Marka J sort of figure, but I mean, it, clearly they show favoritism to the pro scene because that's the biggest scene for them. Not really the biggest scene, but that's the scene that they've been trying to push for the last couple of years. Um, so basically, those pro players are giving them feedback. Ranked play and game battles are important components of our feature set. We'll have a lot more news about the competitive scene coming later this summer. So. Uh, basically, they're going to have some sort of rank play, it sounds like, and some sort of connection to game battles, similar to what Infinite Warfare has, which is pretty good. Where you can, I think they need to make it more where the competitive scene is more in tune with the game. For example, a game that I play a lot, League of Legends, you don't have to go on a website like Game Battles to find a match. You simply go into the game. You click find a match and you click ranked and that's basically how it should be. They, I know of course they have ranked play Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, uh, Advanced Warfare, but it's not really that competitive. Though like I remember playing on Black Ops 3, I think it was, I was like level 15 or 20 towards the top of the tier and I was playing against level 2s and 3s. So it's not really that competitive and I'm hoping that they get that right this year for um, the Sledgehammer Games World War 2 and of course in Infinite Warfare, their competitive playlists are just random. Like there's no sort of ranking system at all really so but that's you know infinite warfare they didn't really put all the time into that game um, as much as they are with this thing they've also said that zombies info is coming sooner than you may think so of course we're gonna have some zombies info there there's gonna be no nintendo switch version of this game so i'm guessing it's just gonna be uh, xbox one ps4 and pc um they i don't really know if there's gonna be a wii or anything like that but they also said, of course, the team at Sledgehammer Games is very dedicated to MLG Esports, so reiterating that same point twice. There are no Clan Wars support in World War II, and with war, the headquarters, which is basically the place where everyone can go and hang out and, you know, sort of like um, like they have in Destiny with the tower, I think it's called, and all of multiplayer. This is the largest amount of content we've created for multiplayer at launch, which doesn't really say that much because Sledgehammer Games has only done one other full Call of Duty game, which is AW. But I think, like, this, they actually mean this. And, like, if we look at Infinite Warfare... The game was not fully complete when it came out, and there was a lot of hate on it for valid reasons. I think this game, when we when it comes out, and I'm, I'm hoping when it comes out, it will be fully complete. It will feel like a really good game, and I hope they don't give us everything in the beta, because that's one thing I, have, I complain about is, why give us every gun? The beta should have like literally two or three, maybe like two guns per each class, or three, because when the, they, they want people to get the real game, and when the real game comes out, I kind of like having that surprise and testing new things out, not knowing everything from the beta with an in Warfare, when I played the beta, I literally knew everything before the game came out. Of course, they did some patch updates and stuff like that. But everything is going to be great when this game comes out, hopefully. Campaign is one player only, not co-op. Score streak progress will reset on death. There's a basic training perk that will allow you it to continue, but score streak will then require additional points to earn in match. So I guess some people were worried about this and got confused. Basically, score streaks work the same as they always do. However, they have that thing, like they have it in Infinite Warfare. I forget what it's called in Infinite Warfare, but it's some sort of trait where you can turn your streaks, your assault streaks into support streaks where they don't reset on death, but then they take like all game to get and you can't, sometimes you can't even get them throughout the whole game so I, i'm guessing it's gonna be something like that and it won't be that big of a problem uh, multiplayer maps will be featured in a variety of different locations specific details coming soon and their focus is on having historical gear uniforms for characters at launch so a lot of little teasers and little info the main stuff we can get out of this is that there is going to be supply drops there's going to be some sort of chain, like weapons and gear stuff in supply drops, but it's only going to be cosmetic. So I would say weapon kits like Modern Warfare Remastered, that's what I would guess. Um, and camos and maybe even attachment variants, stuff like that, like in Black Ops 3, although I thought those were kind of pointless. And then they are very, very dedicated to MLG and uh, esports and um, competitive ranked play, which I'm also very excited for because I had a lot of fun on B specifically BO3 UMGs and BO2 in the actual ranked play. Like that, that crap was competitive in BO2. People would DDoS you, people would kick you offline just to get wins. 
that was probably the most competitive they ever reached on the actual game. Um, Black Ops 3, I played through the website UMG, which kind of now they changed the website. It's not as good as it used to be. And now I think a lot of people are playing on game battles because that's uh, compatible with Infinite Warfare through the actual game. But it looks like this thing is going to be a full complete game, and I'm very excited for it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Are, are you guys excited for it? Call of Duty World War II? Um, what are you, you know, most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to seeing how this ranked play comes out. And I'm looking forward to see how these maps play because it's going to be interesting. Boots on the ground. I want these maps to still be fast paced. I want to still be able to run spawns, get triple kills, quad feats, and stuff like that. I don't want it to play kind of slower paced. Like I'd say World at War was kind of a slower paced game, but I think this will be good. I have some faith in Sledgehammer games. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys can, drop a like on the second. I'd really appreciate 2,000 likes. Sub for a cookie and don't looky, and I'm out. Peace. Have a great night, guys.